First of all, for us engineers, these buildings are lighter, right? Up to five, six times lighter than concrete buildings, right? So lower foundation cost and sometimes no piles. And, uh, and it's so important for developers that build on weak, side, weak soil sites, right? Um, the other thing that we engineers really like is that they can be self-centering. So you have buildings that kind of move with an earthquake and then they go back to the position of, of vertical, right? Which is really cool because it can be done with wood much easier than with other materials. We're doing a project in Oregon already like this. So there are several of them in New Zealand we're doing the first one in, in North America. And then, personally, what I like the most is that energy efficiency, that you can build super energy efficient buildings like passive houses, uh, net zero, and it's much easier to achieve uh, with wood than with concrete. And uh, of course, for developers, it's faster. And faster can be achieved by prefabrication. And prefabrication is always done the best in a cheapest way with wood, with wood systems. So CLT becomes a part of a prefabricated system. Well, for now it's the capacity. Like we see that there are, there's limited number of suppliers and uh, they are busy and uh, you know, there is such a need for more capacity of uh, local CLT suppliers here. So the building code is really important. For a majority of engineers to adopt CLT, it needs to be in the building code. So changes are needed. And uh, what's, uh, who's doing the best job right now is actually the province of, of British Columbia. They're issuing site-specific regulations to allow us to go with 12-story, uh, 23-story buildings uh, in BC right now. We're involved with an, right now in a 12-story site-specific regulation in Victoria. We're working together with Structulum on, on that project. So um, that's the big thing. Um, we are also right now working close with seismic subcommittees to make sure that they're satisfied that CLT can perform safely in high seismic regions. So I'm part of the uh, building code committee on the wood side and we're extending our hand and, uh, and working together with the seismic colleagues to make sure that they're satisfied and they will allow it into the mainstream building codes. I actually think that, you know, as much as we engineers like to talk about tall wood and the race and, you know, we're in this race with our other colleagues, I think that the five to eight stories, the mid-rise, will be the market, will, the, the market penetration will be the, the fastest. And the reason for that is that you can build in much lower cost than concrete and faster than concrete and to much higher quality than stick frame for five or six story buildings. And that's what we already see that the uh, local uh, developers are asking for. Better quality and a better energy efficiency, which can be done the fastest and, uh, and the cheapest with CLT and mass timber. I think mass timber will cut uh, a niche will cut a niche of 10-20% uh, of the overall market first in mid-rise and then you know in other types of uh, buildings and price and supply are the biggest thing but as I was I, I actually had a talk when I was uh, saying that it's faster and better and cheaper so better faster cheaper this is how the buildings need to be to, for the market to adopt a new material and, uh, and this is where mass timber totally fits. It is a better quality, it's faster to build, and now it's becoming cheaper than traditional weight to build.